Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where it is telling me that if I sleep before 12 I will get awesome things like beautiful fresh eyes. So <laughs> we can complete the order now for grinding saws for Hugo and take another commission this morning if need be. But I'll shut up in case it was a cutscene. Will there be one? Oh yeah! Oh, it's Jasmine! Hi there, Builder! Special delivery! Special delivery for Hi, me! Hi! I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. I think if I want to see it, I don't generally read the paper too much in this. Um. If I want to see it, I can uh, actually read it on the notice board, and I'll probably do that. Oh, hey! I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sand Rock. All right then, Jasmine, yeah, let's go on cool. your Jasmine tour. The Jasmine Co. official Sand Rock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakmel Ranch. Okay. So for those of you that don't already know everything about this game, this is actually quite useful because it shows you where various important spots around the town actually are. So the first one, Jazz, you stuck. Jazz got stuck. The first one is the Wandering White Yak Melt. Passengers, please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff too. Oh, you can see the Yakmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like moo. <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? Yep. On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. But the most useful things that they sell here are meat and worms for bait. Off we go. Oh, it looks like they're How having a... How do you guys uh... justify using guns again? <laughs> what? I would never use a gun. Oasis. Miss Martle was the first mayor of Sand Rock, and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. That's really useful early on. The little shop here will give you water from Mr. Burgess. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Defeat the desert. I know it. It's conserve water. Wow. Yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. What kind of small child doesn't have stickers? We need to remedy this right away. Well, I, I don't have any stickers either, though, so I don't think I can. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Mardo's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. All right, then, Jasmine, let's go visit Fabulous City Hall. I, I do kind of have things to get on with, like making a lift and things, but, you know. First thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My ma works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Now, I don't believe that Aunt Heidi is an actual blood-related aunt. I think she's just a, a very close friend. Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sand Rock. 
RBO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along. Okay, where are we going now, Jasmine? That's, that's the news stand. Oh, they've redesigned that a bit, I think. Hello, pen. And so the last place is the temple. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. I will probably be busy doing all the stuff, but... Uh... Sometimes I might come and give you guys presents in the and church. And this is the last stop on the tour. The if temple. you follow the path on the right, you'll find the research center and the golden goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Very nice. Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much. But you do, so I think that means we can be good friends. I don't think I would ever say to a small child, oh, this place is awful, even if I thought it was. Anyway, I'm sure you have <laughs> lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. Also, probably something I won't do very much either, go to play mini games. Mini games are, as you can probably tell, not really hugely my thing. Uh, okay then. Oh, one thing I want to do. Let's parkour over this way. Um, I want to see if I've got time. Oh, Macchiato, hello. Hello, Meow. chat. Meow. Can I gift you anything? Uh, I have nothing that you would want right now. I will try quartz. Meow. Plus one, okay. I'll talk to Captain. Meow, meow. Member of the Civil Corps, Mouse Grabber Extraordinaire. Because yeah. even if I just chat to them, until I can get things like fish and things that they're going to like, um, it, it might be a bit difficult to get them to, to like me. So it'd probably be good just when I get the things that are good presents for them. The villagers, though, the, the townspeople, I think I will be trying my best to play things like um, critters with them early on. Okay, so the Tumbleweed Standard is the official newspaper of Sandrock. Uh, the regular issue is once a month and will be updated after major events. I rarely, I'm going to just say this, I rarely do uh, much with the Tumbleweed Standard. Um, advertising in newspapers and periodicals can increase income, which is exactly what I've come to do. The bonus effect of advertising is random, and if you're not satisfied with the current effect, you can cancel and advertise again. So I'm going to see if I can place an ad for 100 gold. I get more rep and more EXP. That's fine by me. I don't get more goals, though, this time. But that's okay. Rep and EXP is good. That's This is how we're going to beat uh, Yan. Because I'm going to just pop in here. I, I'll probably be coming back anyway. To have a look at the workshop rankings. Uh, Yan is at 1,368. I am at 35. Well, at least I got something to start me off. So he's well ahead already. Mian is already at 61 as well. So I need to get that commission in for today. And I'm going to be quite on the ball with commissions, especially early game. Later on, you can skip a few, maybe. Unless I'm saving up for something money-wise or wanting to particularly make a friend. We have mail. Let's have a look at that then. So we've got a... a Tumbleweed standard, Logan is still at large, it is almost the day of memories, um, and there is a vocational vacancy vacated, so basically saying that there are some new builders in town. There's a letter from my mother, which we can answer if we want to, so we, we can have a answerable letters in this game, and you can select which answer you want to do, so. Sheila, I miss you, it's hard to believe. 
Only a few days have passed since you left for Sandrock. Your father and I are already missing you so much. Even when you were small, you were always wandering away from us. Sometimes I would just let you walk to see how far you'd go. But I always get nervous before you did. So I guess we should have seen this coming. I'm so proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things at your new job. No one else jumped at the chance to take that contract, because it will be tough. But you took it anyway. I know you'll be able to bring Talisa's to Sandrock. I just wish you'd take care of yourself a bit better. Those quilts I folded for you are still sitting by the door. Do you want me to mail them to you? The desert gets really cold at night, I've heard. We're so happy you're independent now, but Sandrock can be dangerous, so please don't hesitate to ask us for help. Your father's doing well. He's converting your room into a garden for his bonsai trees. I think he doesn't want to admit it, but seeing your empty room made him kind of sad. He says he'll move the trees out and let you back in any time, so I hope you're not offended. Anyway, we've sent you some money for quilts. <laughs> let us know when you're settled in, and remember to take care of yourself. Love you lots, Ma. So we've got some jerky some uh, t-shirts and goals um jerky is fantastic as a present for uh dogs so any dogs that i see around i will be giving them that jerky as a present so uh <laughs> yeah i'm helping those quilts so everything's fine don't worry about me i've registered my workshop already and even named it i'm looking forward to really getting into my commissions I don't want Mama to worry. From the church, we have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in front of City Hall. Don't be late. Light be with you, Matilda. Okay. Wonderful. So the next thing that I want to do is to put on some more recycling so that I can get all the things I need to make my furnace. Um, so we've got rubber scrap, wood scrap, copper scrap. Kind of, we made a bit of a copper scrap. Uh, what do I need for my... Just a, just a second. I've got a quest that is not uh, being... Okay, so I need bricks. I need... Oh, bricks I'm going to definitely need a furnace for. Okay. And what do I need for the furnace? Uh, I'm going to still need stone troughs and wooden sticks from the work table. Okay, let's see if I can make those. Stone troughs. Yes, I can make those. Wooden sticks. Yes, I can make those. I might need more wood, though. Possibly. Yeah, I need more wood for wooden sticks. So I'm going to need some of the wood scrap that's around at some point. Um, and I'll also go and get all of the scrap that's in the junkyard quickly as well. And oh, I'll and complete my grinding saw order. Uh, yeah, totally going to do that. Uh, what's over here? Is this something I can pick up? Oh, this is copper scrap. Okay. <laughs> Right then, so grab everything in here. See if I can then grab some. Oh, I might get wood scrap actually out of the ju mixed junk pile. Sometimes you do. It's data disc, copper scrap, all sorts. I figure this is going to be the best thing to do early game. I should have a look at the map as well, see if there's any outstanding quests today to you. There's something over by the fishing spots, so I will go and take a look at that after I've grabbed all of my mixed scrap junk. Uh, looks like this is the only junk pile in here today. Lots of copper scrap, so I do need to get some wood scrap as well because I am really, really short on wooden sticks. And if I'm going to make bricks, I feel like I need to do those in the furnace. So I'm going to need to make a furnace. Uh, these guys are all... I learned about Paradise Lost, so they must have got close enough to it by standing there. Nice. But other than a bit of rubber scrap over here, which I don't think I need just now... Uh, oh yeah, I can't even get, sorry. Can't even get with this tool. So, that is as much as I can get there. I need to have a look at uh, the surrounding area and see if I can get stone and wood scrap. Actually, I could do that while sort of slowly going towards the fishing spot. Ah, here we are. Wood scrap. Nice. Oh, axe for that, apparently. And then 
probably that copper scrap will be a pick hammer. Ah, Elsie. Hello. Nice to meet ya. Come on, you old geezer. Help me out. Oh, it's you. Sorry to holler at you. Oh, geezer. Oh, <laughs> I must have dozed off. I thought you were my blathering old man Cooper. <laughs> hey, you're tougher than you look. If not for you, that wobber might have pulled me in. Say, you ever done much sand fishing yourself? Giving it your all, struggling against nature, never knowing for sure who'll come out on top. In case you hadn't figured it out, that's kind of my thing. You're a city slicker, ain't ya? Well, don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now, you hear? That's a whole desert out there just waiting to be explored, and all kinds of sandfish just waiting to be caught. Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. Well, I'd better get gone and find out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. So long. Well, that was really nice of her. So I could probably give those to the cats. So maybe the only cat I've seen so far that I think is uh, uh, pet material is Macchiato. So I'm hoping that I can now make my furnace. Let's see. One wooden stick. Oh, I need one more piece of wood. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Well, I can't cut down anything. Ooh, sand berries, nice. I have learned about sand berries. I don't have enough wood to make this furnace. It's so annoying. I think there's some wood there. I see some. I see some right there. Let's go get it. And I'm probably going to need more wood after that. But we'll get the bricks going. Um, that's going to be important for getting this lift done. Mm. Did I get no wood from that wood? Oh, of course. I need to make the wood scrap into something. There we are. I am very silly sometimes, I know. Right, so while we're doing that, I will make the grinding saws that are required. And I will take them over to Hugo. And I will grab another commission so that we can at least, at least if we can try not to be last, that would be quite handy. But having done the advert ahead of time will hopefully increase my rep reputation points. Should be quite cool. Let's go inside hammer time. And go and chat to Hugo. Hello. You're that new builder in town. <laughs> or was it someone else? Ah, that's right. There's two of you. Me on and uh, you must be... She loved the other one. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm Hugo, the one and only blacksmith in town. If you need to buy construction materials, upgrade parts for your machines, or obtain top of the line weapons, I'm all you got. But I promise the best. The most important thing that Hugo sells is something called a sharp. Just check stone. this out. This here is like me, iron tough. That's the quality I'm talking about. Here's your commission. Thank you very much. So I will get uh, eight relationship points with Hugo for that. 200 odd goals. Um, and 18 workshop reputation Thank points. You. Thank you very much, Hugo. That now means I can go to the Commerce Guild and get myself another commission while I'm trying to sort of uh, get the stuff together for those lifts. So we're slowly meeting people, which is great. And we're taking commissions every day. So bricks for Heidi, wooden sticks for Amira, uh, glass for Elsie, or thin thread for Vivi. I don't think I can make much of that. Um, mm. I think... I'm going to take the glass for Elsie. Yeah. And we'll be able to do that once I've built my furnace. But uh, I do need to build my furnace first. But we've got to do that anyway. Or we can't do anything else. 
Okay, I'm going to need more DNAS for that, so probably my best bet right now is to smash up a whole bunch of gravel. I am level 5. I have now unlocked knowledge points. Yes. I will have a look at that in just a second. Okay, wood scrap. Did I get any wooden sticks? I did, so we can finish the furnace now. Perfect. Actually, it is a perfect furnace. Ha <laughs> I'm hilarious. So, we can make bricks in here. Lovely. And we can also make glass in here. Once I have enough DNAS, but I can only make one so far, so I'm going to need a little bit more. Let's add some fuel. All these dregs I'm getting are perfect fuel for these things. And I will check the fuel on the recycler as well, make sure there's enough. the fuel I've forgotten oh yeah there we are it has been a long time since I've needed to add fuel manually to these things please forgive me okay so uh, let me see more gravel please It's important to keep these commissions going, and uh, so it. Luckily, it tells me how much DNAS. DNAS is kind of sand, I think. But how much of that I need to get everything? And I'm also getting quartz, sandworms, rocks, throwing rocks, all that sort of thing as I'm going. Throwing rocks for your first kind of uh, projectile weapon that you have, and uh, if you go into Q, you can throw them at things. That is kind of important. Um, okay then, so let's just keep on. Actually, I know something I'm gonna do right now. So I am going to go to my points. Knowledge points, here we are. So, simply playing the game will earn you knowledge points uh, in certain categories based on how you play. Once you have enough XP, you can spend the points. Select a knowledge category to learn about it. You can see how many you have to spend. Select it to see what it does, add points to knowledge, and click confirm to spend the points. If you want to reset your knowledge points, visit a fang and ask for acupuncture. Right, so, gathering. What I want to go get towards, if possible, I've got two in my, in my gathering um, section. I believe there was something somewhere that maybe a workshop. No, I'm sure it must be a gathering thing. Or you could get shiny scorpions. Yeah, picker upper knowledge level three, level two, sorry, automatically catches scorpions and shiny scorpions. That's something I really want. And I also want treasure map showing up on the map. Treasure chest, sorry, showing up on the map. So I'm going to take this one. And I am going to take the treasure chests one. And then the next two points I'll get, I will get the automatically catching shiny scorpions. Those are two things I struggle with. I struggle with knowing where chests are, and I think having chests early game is really important. And I think um, catching shiny, shiny scorpions so I can give them, they're pretty good with almost all animals as a present, you see. And I want to get pets, so that's why I want to do that. So, uh, let's go and get six more Dinas from rocks. Uh, my stamina is getting a little low. I'm hoping I can get enough. I've got two from that one. I might not have enough. I might have to eat some jerky. Four. Not enough stamina. Does the jerky give me a bit of stamina? Let's have a look does it gives me i can buy it from by the stairs as well all right then let's eat a little bit of jerky just so i can get enough to do i want to get my commissions done every day so that's important to me so if 
it will give me just enough to get that last two DNAS that I need. Really? One DNAS? Are you kidding me? Right, okay, so I've got enough now to make the glass. Uh, but the fireside meeting is in just a minute, so we're going to go and do that first. And after the fireside meeting, I will get the glass on to cook. Um, as long as I've handed it in by tomorrow morning, in, in enough time to get myself the next commission, that's as much as I'm allowed to do at the moment anyway. So, we can have a chat to a few people before it starts. So, um, there's a few people I haven't met yet. RBO. Ah, you're a new builder, aren't you? Chaham, to be sure. I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think your fine art price is hard to beat. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. That's a big thing for him to, to, to do. He's uh, very, very entrepreneurially minded. So that's actually very nice of you. Thank you, Arvio. When you complete a commission, you will get a reward and your workshop reputation will increase. Um, I don't think I've got anything for you at the moment. I, I'm just going to go and meet people at the moment. Oh, you gave me a chair. Thank you. No Miguel. need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. <laughs> I trust you'll bring Telesis to Sandrock and beyond. Now, I'm actually going to play Critters with you. There's a few people that I really, really want to get and are difficult to get um, friendly with. So I would like to get friendly with Miguel and I think that's going to be harder to do than some of the other characters. Just from experience. Go with the cats. And another cat. Ah, oh, to draw. Okay, play again. Elephants. Cats. Darn it. Uh, fox. Darn it. Elephant. Major loss. Oh no. Okay, elephant. Fox. I should have gone with mouse. Elephant. Yes. Uh, fox. Yay, victory! Mm-hmm. Got nine. I like playing critters with you. You're good. Till next time. That's really good points you get for playing critters. Do that ten times, you get a whole star. Do it. Play, play critters a hundred times, your best friends forever. Oh, here we go. Simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures yes um i believe uh mason is going to porsche but today's meeting is not about goodbyes there'll be plenty of time for that at mason's retirement party no today is a celebration of hellos let's give it up for our new builders mian and sheila <laughs> yay clap, clap, clap. thanks everyone very excited to be starting here I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to say a few words? I want to make many friends because that is going to be a big, uh, a big focus of this. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that one. We've got ourselves a companionable soul here. I'm sure you'll find lots of friends here in Sandrock. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. 
One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets, courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Yum, Meeting yum, adjourned. Yum, yum. Oh, and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Yeah, that was a nice introduction. It's now eight o'clock. We... <sighs> okay, so I've returned my selected item to the inventory. Lovely. Um, so I've still got to put on the glass ready for tomorrow and just see how much stuff I can get out of the recycler. I may decide to... Uh, hmm, make a second recycler if I have space for it. Oh, I do have space. I've got space over here for like loads of stuff. Let's just ram it, it, ram it all in. Why not? Let's see what we need for another recycler then. Because we're gonna need another one eventually, definitely. So assemble, and we're going to need two grinding saws, two stone troughs, and one more piece of wood. Okay. Two grinding saws, two stone troughs, and one more piece of wood. Uh, I might they, I, that might already be on. I think we are doing wood recycling right now, so. I may have some there. Yes, I do. And there we are. Second recycler. That will keep us ahead of the pack in terms of what we can do. So, yeah, actually, I could just go there. And then I could recycle all of this copper scrap. We'll add some fuel. It's nice that it reminds me of that. <laughs> So that one's finished, so I could definitely put in some maybe mechanical scrap actually. That might be a good one. And so hopefully that should keep on top of all the stuff I'm, I'm getting um, throughout the days and nights and whatever. I've got four bricks already, five bricks. Three minutes to go until I can put the glass on. I've got enough to make two pieces of glass. Oh. I must have used up some sand. So what we will probably have to do is wait till tomorrow when my uh, when my stamina is all regenerated and uh, work on stuff then. So I think it might be time for bed then. Let's have a look. Well, what I could do then is run around the place playing critters with people. And possibly giving people, um, like... Let's play Christmas with Mabel. Welcome to Sand Rock. I'm Mabel. My husband Cooper and I run the largest yak mole ranch south of the Eufaula. Ever tried yak mole milk before? It's got an acquired taste. Here, take a couple of bottles. It's our way of saying, howdy do, neighbor. Lovely, thank you so much. <laughs> Ooh, learn egg custard. Yes. <clears throat> Use a steamer, throw an egg, sea salt, and you make egg custard. You tumble bank, yeah, I promise. I'm gonna want those recipes like later on. I don't need them yet, but I still kind of do want to have them if I can, you know, if they offer a recipe, I'll take it, basically. Also, one thing I've noticed as well, I think I've got a different t-shirt. Um, So here is all of my stats. I'm starting to get a lot healthier now, 785. And my equipment slots, and that's where I can change things. My held item, which will be whatever I've got selected off my hotbar. So tops, I've got this one, which is, so at the moment I don't have any top at all, so it's like the, the basics. So anything like this, uh, extra defense, a backer's t-shirt, extra defense points 28 and stamina plus 6. This one's stamina plus 5 and defense points 19, which is the seaside casual t-shirt. So I'm going to go with the backer's t-shirt, kickstarter backer, because I am one. For now, anyway. And that should help my stamina points a little bit as well as uh, giving me a little bit more defense if I do get into a fight. Wonderful. Oh, hang on, it's getting quite late now. 
Uh, we should say hello to this young man, unsure. Hey, I'm unsure. A member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive Gigglers. You should be careful. Very well. Hmm. I feel like I understand all the words said at the fireside meeting, but when it's over, I can never remember what we talked about, so I don't always go. That's one way of doing it. Uh, shall we have a critters game too? Maybe I should spar with him, but I don't know how what level he is and whether I'd win. So. <laughs> Elephant. Uh, mouse. Oh, you won that one. Mouse again. We both did mouse. Okay. Oh, fox and mouse didn't do anything to each other. That's interesting. Elephant. Yeah, I won. Nice. What would you do if I played mouse? I would play cat. <gasps> you are so sneaky. That was a sneaky way around it, definitely. Oh, you played mouse when I played elephant. <gasps> Major loss. Cat. Let's go with mouse. Oh no! <laughs> Box. Yay, victory! <laughs> Plus 11 relationship. What an exciting round. Let's play again soon. See, so this is really good, look. Um. If I go to my social, you can see I've already got a little tiny bit of... I think it's a hundred. So I've got 11 points with Unsure. And I've got like something like 10 or 11 points with Hugo. A little bit more with Jasmine. Me and I've somehow managed to get like half a heart with, so I've gone nearly 50 points with her. And managed to get a little bit with Pen and a little bit with Yan. So we'll keep trying and keep trying and as I get richer I'll be able to get them more presents I'm trying to give presents where I can but it is tough let's say hello to Owen hey you're one of the new builders pleasure to make your acquaintance I'm Owen I run the blue moon saloon are you hungry I have a couple sample dishes I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be around. So I will make sure. I... Oh, nice. Extra jerky. Perfect. Um, recipes. Uh... Too busy today. Okay, fine. Let's see who else is about. It's half past ten right now. Okay, macchiato. I'm going to give you one of the fish that Elsie gave me. Oh, no, I can't. I'll do that tomorrow then. Meow. I guess I've already seen you today. Nemo, hello. This is the, the dog. And I can give a dog some jerky, and they quite like that. Lovely. Hey, I could say hello to Amira as well. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at the ceramic gate. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out. So why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. I can quite a few welcome gifts. Oh, my inventory is full. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't recall being asked to introduce myself at a fireside meeting when I first arrived. Not that I'd want to do so. Still, it would have been nice to be invited. Goodbye. Yeah, exit there for now. Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't want to throw out her gift. My throw away. Oh, two dregs. Let's let's delete or drop those. Or I could just buy myself one backpack slot. There we are. For ten goals. That'll be useful. I will go and I will try and sort out my imagery. And I may need to make myself a chest. I don't have one yet. But what I could probably do, just to clear a little bit of space, is to put things away in my house. So I've got a chair that I can put in. I've got a... Let's go and do this. I've got a chair that I can put down. And let's turn that around. 
I've got my builder's license I can put on the wall. I have um, whatever Amira just gave me. Did she just give me a pottery pot? I can put down. Maybe over here or something. Um, and those have probably added a little bit to my... I got three defense off that as well now, so yeah, nice. A lot of them gave extra health, unfortunately, but the ceramic bottle gave me gave me defense. So a few of those around the place would be quite useful. Right, I think it's time for bed because it's nearly midnight. And that, my friends, was a decent, decent day. It was a 41 minute day, so we will do two days. And unfortunately, some of my stuff ran out of fuel overnight, which is annoying. Hello, new builder. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Burgess, chief safety inspector of the Sandrock chapter of the Church of the Light. I mostly patrol the oasis. And if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sand Rock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the Oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. See you, Burgess. At least you didn't have a survey for me. Right, so the bricks are all done. I will start the glass going. Um, but we unfortunately need four glass, so I need extra. There's also a mail to read this morning. Let's have a look. Uh, from Construction Junction, welcome to Sandrock on behalf of my good friend Mayor Trudy who couldn't be available to write this letter I'd like to extend our warmest regards from this neck of the woods I own the construction junction office next to city hall if you're thinking of upgrading your workshop stop in sometime and I'll show you the ropes hope you're settling in all right love Ivy okay Owen hey there newcomer hope you're settling in all right I think you'll find that unlike certain conditions you encounter in Sandrock the folk around here can be pretty welcoming I like to get to know pretty much everybody who plans on living here and that includes you I'm sure you have questions for me as well. I can tell you all the way we do things around here. All about the way, sorry. The way we do things here. Drop by the Blue Moon Saloon sometime for a glass of Yakmel milk on the house. Head of the Blue Moon Saloon, Owen. Okay, lovely. Sorry. Couldn't uh, read that very well. There is nothing in the delivery box right now. So we've run out of water for all of these things. Let's have a look. So can we put water in here? Yes. Add one water to that one. And add one water to... Uh, actually, did that one... I think that one might have needed water. I don't know. Add more fuel. Okay, so that one had run out of fuel. And they, they are both probably running slow because they don't have water, I'm guessing. Why did I had two things of water. Did they both get added into the one thing? Yeah. I've got some dew, so let's see if I can make some water from the dew. I can make one. So let's pop that into my furnace. It's saying water tank, no water. Oh, right, okay. all of the water into the water tank. There we are. And can we put fuel in the water tank as well? 
which is no, it looks like it's just water at the moment. So maybe I can do an upgrade to it to our oh, intermediate water tank. Capacity increased. So maybe as I upgrade it, I can't remember. I'm sure that there was a point where I could make it into like a fuel tank as well, but that's fine for now. So glass, copper, and mechanical scrap being made, and I just need to go and get the rest of the DNAS required because I did. I think I must have used it. I need. I need like another eight DNAS to get that going. So we've got enough bearings now from the mechanical scrap, seemingly. Um, I don't have enough thick rope. that should be six yeah one more well, maybe two more sometimes you only get one but nice big boulder let's see if we can get everything we need there yes eight so i'll pop on another two glass i think i can just add it on to the queue there So there's three glass in the cube. Perfect. A little bit of copper. A little bit of mechanical scrap. Let's see if I can make two wooden sticks. Which I can. Uh, so then we just need thick rope. And I need to get a recipe for that from the Commerce Guild store. So let's run over there and grab that. And in the meantime, I'm going to... I actually don't know about Mason. I know Mason doesn't hang around long. Let's go talk to Mason and see if he adds on to my social people, mm -hmm. but... Oh, they never had a fireside meeting to welcome me. Oh, they're all complaining, aren't they? Maybe if they had, I wouldn't have become so jaded. I mean, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Mason, I'm doing nothing here. Come on, beat it. So Mason, mm -hmm. I actually can't um, interact, gift, anything like that, which is fine, actually. But I think Mason will be leaving pretty soon anyway. Uh, why am I in here? Oh, yes, I am buying uh, the Thick Rope Recipe Book. The 16 goals. And then I will find out how to make thick rope and what I need for it, and I will get it. Because I am very, very close to being able to construct the crane lift, which is perfect. Yeah, we're doing chonky, chonky, chonky episodes. Like, last time I didn't do them this chonky, but I don't care. I think I, think I like making all the progress on it, to be honest. Right then, thick rope, let's see. I need plant fiber from gathering or logs. Okay. So probably cutting down this yak thorn. You're allowed to cut down any bushes, um, but probably not allowed to cut down cactus flower trees. Uh, or, well, actually, I think you might be able to do cactus flower trees. I think. I don't think Burgess complains about cactuses. I think, or cacti even. Um, I think it's only if you go and cut those trees down over there, or the ones around the oasis, that you have a problem. Also, any trees that are out in the desert, anything like that, you're allowed those. Right, let's see how many I've got and whether that's enough yet. Uh, I've got enough to make three, but I need six, so I need another two, so I need how many more? I need eight more thin fiber, plant fiber. But you'll soon know if you cut down something you shouldn't because Burgess will come and he will give you a warning. He'll warn you about what it is you sh you've done that you shouldn't have done, so it's fine. Okay, I think we now have everything we need for the crane lift. So let's go. 
also there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things going on around town that I need to go and have a look at today as well so but I'll fix the crane the crane lift first just because that's kind of important Mian hello would you like to play critters with me hey come back hmm I think my three-sentence fireside speech went over really well. To is for all, that line always kills. Give the people what they want, I say. Hey, how's it going on your end? My crane lift is almost done. Things have been easier since I built a furnace. Say, has Yen been bugging you like he's been bugging me? He came to check on my progress like ten times already. Nope. Uh, maybe I held a big axe when he came near. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything that you would like here. Hmm. Would you like a copper stick? Thanks. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, that's plus three. That's all right. Uh, do you want a game of critters? We've done a lot of games of critters lately, but... It is a good way of getting them up to that, like, that level, I guess. Oh, it was a draw. I don't really care whether I win, lose, or draw. I just care that like they like me better. <laughs> oh, no. You used the mouse and I used the elephant. <sighs> oh, Mian, you're killing it. You're absolutely crushing it. Major loss. Try one more time. The thing I like about critters is it's quite fast. I always knew exactly what you're going to play. It does seem like it, to be honest. Are you cheating me, Anne? I lost again. Let's play again soon. So I've got plus five for that and plus three for the present. So that is starting. Starting to get her closer to... Yeah, a little bit closer. We've got to keep working on it every day with people. But once I get better things for presents, and actually getting into the ruins will probably help with that. And hopefully we'll get some better points with Mian. So, I have all this. Oh no! Oh no! I just... I just gifted Mian what I needed for the... <laughs> for the crane lift! Mian! so annoying right let's see is there maybe some copper scrap there we are <laughs> i was gonna say i think it's still making some over here can't believe i did that especially when it takes so long to run everywhere ah right better so do we need to come over here to do to put it in I've got all this stuff. Oh, I need to make it. Oh. Well. Maybe making it at the assembly table would be a good start. Why I thought I just had to put the... Sometimes you do. Sometimes you have to just put the ingredients in. Sometimes you have to make the thing. But I do have all the stuff I need for this. So let's make the crane lift. There it is. It look beautiful. A very big thing considering like how small my assembly table is right now. And I got a perfect one this time as well. Very nice. Okay, now. Now we can put it down. Ah, uh, she lab. Never change. Hey. Alright, let's get this in. Rain lift, here we come. Install. We are done.
I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Yeah, I mean, imagine trying to run a building company and, like, not having access to the mines at all. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Sure. All right, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Ufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. Let's clear out any monsters. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's fine as keepers down there. But, uh, I got a little proposition for you. Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Yes. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. Woohoo! It's mining time! Okay, well, um, seems as my commission at the moment is still baking in the oven, basically. Um, yeah, let's go do a little bit of mining. Why not? Mian snoozed and lost. <laughs> she could take the other crane, the other lift. Oh, maybe she already did. Maybe she beat me in there. All right, level one. Let's go. Go find a nice relic to put together to uh, space use jetpack FU scanner. Very simple. Very easy. So for me, some copper ore is going to be super useful. And like I say, at the moment, I do Oh, also, this will be an easy way to get DNAS. So if I need any more DNAS, you just get it from here, usually. Oh, that looks like stone I got, though. Oh, I was supposed to just get, like, 20-odd... Well, I got way more than that. <laughs> That's a bit mad there, didn't I? I was like, yes, finally! So also, I can get some power stones. Uh, oh, okay, I need a better tool for that, apparently. Those will give me free stuff, so that's wonderful, usually. Bit of nitre and copper ore. And I'm hoping that... Oh, Scrooge McMull! I don't even have, like, a sword or anything right now. Rats. Um, if you can catch them, if you've got a sword and shield on you and catch Scrooge McMould, you can sometimes get things like gold from them and things like that. Um, they do pop up quite a lot of the time. So I'm going to head out before I use all of my stamina up. I don't want to use it all in case the second commission that I get requires me to uh, get things that I don't have. But we've certainly got enough copper ore to get us started and I'm going to be getting that straight into the furnace once I've chatted to Rocky and sold any ore that I want to sell. How are we doing like money wise at the moment? Like, uh, we've got nearly a thousand goals actually, that's not too bad. I am quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with the size of the workshop so far, I've still got room for more machines. So that's fine. So if I want to do things like buy presents, buy jerky for the dog, that sort of thing, I totally can. Huh? Rocky just teleported. That's super annoying. Where did you go? Suddenly teleported up to the temple? Are you kidding me? There's all sorts of quests and things around, though. Let's go into the blue moon and see what the quest is in there. 
Oh, is it something for Owen? Hey there, Builder. Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? It, it won't take too long. Sure, I like free food. <laughs> I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. Thank to you. To a newcomer, Sand Rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you like to know about? Dangers around uh, town. Yes, there is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. Uh, one day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? Um, people in town, maybe. Let's see. Where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch. Katori and her game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. Amira makes ceramics that are top notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. What's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Uh, sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> I think he's got a bit of an, a thing for Mira, maybe. Really, this <laughs> town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. And hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now and again? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. So the idea for me, I think once you get them to about two stars or hearts, uh, you can start sort of inviting them to um, hang out and go on like little play date things. So I'll be probably doing that as well once they start getting up in sort of level. But for now, it's going to be presents and playing critters and sparring and things like that. What would you like to know about? Um, Church of Light. The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock. Especially the old folk and the youngins. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. We'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> creeks have water, don't they? Yep. What would you like to know about? And then the ah, Civil Corps. We the may as Civil well. The Civil Corps here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala Desert. But they only have two Corps members here. Uh, plus <laughs> a cat. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Penn from the church helps out as well. Oh yes, and I bet he's like, look at me, I am Penn, I am helping the Civil Corps, I am so amazing. 
you can tell. <laughs> now the one running the Civil Corps is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. Aww. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? And that's it. <laughs> yep. Uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. Okay. Chat, 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 chat. <sighs> Today was nice. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order? Get the special of the day. That's right, we've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Okay, so we've got some sweet and sour sandfish and 20 relationship with Owen, which is wonderful. Let's have a chat to Coop. Howdy there, partner. Can't say I recognize you. Afraid I ain't got time for pleasantries at the moment. Speak with Mabel if you have business with the ranch. Wow, you didn't talk for five million hours? Yeah. What? I highly suggest making it to every fireside on time. Express your thoughts, discuss the state of the town and whatnot. You don't want to appear uneducated now, do you? I almost never miss them. Get you later. Okay, so we're gonna still be like running around talking to people. This is gonna be a very long episode, I'm afraid, but... You guys don't mind long episodes, do you? Let's go up to... Rocky's home, actually. Let's go and hand this in. Hey, Rocky. Hey, thanks, Builder. <laughs> I guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit will go a long way. There's something for your troubles. Like I said, top goals. Nice. So extra rocky relationship, venti relationship. Venti's hard to get relationship with, so that's really good. Bye, Bubbles. <laughs> Mama said I can't play with toys at dinner. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Howdy. Second in command. <laughs> Question mark. Wife of Rocky. <laughs> Hey there, Builder. Catch the fireside? Some of us are too busy to make it. But since you're getting acquainted, might as well, eh? And while you're new, don't forget to check in with me and Rocky, too. Us folk got a lot in common. So long, but now, I can't play critters with everyone, okay? There are ways and means to, to make friends with people, and I'm going to try my best. All right, let's head on down to the temple I think actually if I can go this way around the back um so I can yeah head to the temple and just see what is going on up there for now So you see, I've misplaced my sword and shield, but after some thinking, I realized that maybe it was for the best. I really don't like hurting people anyway. Wow. Nonsense. There's no higher pursuit than perfecting combat. Besides, we all need the help we can get in the, our crusade for justice. You need training, Burgess. I insist. Um. Um. Well, if you really think it'll help everyone. <laughs> Good man. And ah, look who it is, our resident builder, who no doubt can forge you a new set of weapons. Isn't that grand, Burgess? Oh, oh goody. Hello. Salutations, Builder. I've been teaching Burgess the art of the blade. Pretty cool of me, huh? Ah. Anyway, he's lost his training sword and shield. I wondering, I was wondering if you could build him a new set. That's easy for you, right? Sure. 
Wonderful. Don't keep us waiting too long now. Hmm? You should be able to craft them on your work table. Okay, I will do that when I can. There are many, 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 um, like, chests showing up on my map, but I don't see where they actually are. Because chests will be useful now. Is there one in here? Ah, now I'm stuck. Great. How oh, annoying. I'm not going to worry about them too much, but if I, if I can get them, great. There's one. Treasure boxes are hidden all over. Don't forget to recycle the empty boxes. So what did I get in there? I've got to be careful though as well with opening too many treasure chests because my inventory is a bit small right now. Uh, I could maybe open a couple more back backpack slots actually. Let's do another three or so. So I've got a bone necklace. That is definitely something that I could wear right now. As an accessory, I think. And that will give me uh, some defense points. Lovely. And the other thing you can do with these is you can usually break them up and get some experience and some wood or wooden boards or whatever. Pretoria, I have not spoken to you so far. Ah, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sandrock back into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Eh, that's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. <laughs> we'll work on the marketing. Anyway, right? even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. Thank you, Katori. Catch you later. Right. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna worry too much. Let's go up to Waterworld. Um, is that a quest that only happens at a certain time of day? Oh yeah, it looks like that, whatever that was. It has already been, uh, it has, it has gone away, so it maybe is uh, only at certain times of day. Nemo, would you like another piece of jerky? It does have a diminishing effect if you keep giving them the same thing, um, but it, it works a few times in a row at least, I think. I think I'm gonna head into Construction Junction. Uh, go say hello to Heidi. Hey there. Reckon you got my letter? How's Mason's old shack treating you? If it's not quite what you were expecting, might be high time to start upgrading. If you've got the goals and the materials, I can set you up with a new building for your workshop or upgrade something you've already got. Just take a look at that catalog over there on my desk to see what we're working with. Okay. Oh, also, I've always got plenty of materials stored around here. If you ever want to trade some of yours for mine, just check out the Construction Junction shop. That's the gist of it. Here's to a happier home. Thank you, Heidi. So there's a, a um, catalog here that you can use. Um, the shop, I think, is moved. I don't think it used to be there. I think it used to be, like, over here. But we don't need to go into that right now because I don't really have money for playing around with my house. And uh, we will do that another time. So many chests. Uh, some of them are like up in the air. There's one like on the rooftop there, for example. Right, what I need to do before the end of the day, though, is to grab the commission. I've been busy doing other stuff and I haven't done my commission. I really need to get that over to Elsie ASAP. So hopefully that is done now, which it is. Then I have to find Elsie, who is up. Ah, by construction junction. Grr. And then hopefully I can just make it into the Commerce Guild quickly by the end of the night and just grab another commission quickly. 
It looks like Elsie is coming towards... No, she's not coming towards me. I'm just going towards her really fast. Hello, I Howdy. have your commission. Huh? Fireside meetings are always so boring. They should let me host them. I turn them into a rodeo. And then maybe folks like yours truly would actually show up. Okay, commission. And we have four ah. pieces of glass. Shoot, when did I post that commission again? That was mighty quick. Wait till I tell my yakmal about this. Lovely. So seven Elsie relationship there. So we are like slowly getting relationship with people. It's very, very good. I think I can go in here till 10 o'clock. So we cut that really fine today. Super fine. So I could make bricks. I could make a sand hat. A pen. I don't know how to make a sand, a sand hat. Uh, or bronze bars for... I think I'm going to take the one for... Oh, the workshop reputation on bronze bars is amazing, though. Oh, that's a level two. Let's take bronze bars and hope that I can make them in the standard furnace. I think I can. I just need to go down into the mines a little bit more next episode, just to get the stuff for that. Um, uh, I'd like to try and take the commissions earlier in the day, like in the morning. That would be ideal. So let's have a look. So bronze bars, I'm going to need some tin. Which will require me to go a little bit further into the mines. Um, I'm not sure I have time to do that right now. Maybe I do. It's a tough one. When you've got two hours left in a day, that is a real toughie. Um, so let's have a look at the map and see if there's anything else that I need to do. Uh, I could go and do the commotion on the bridge, but I think that leads to quite a large quest and I don't really want to do that right now. So yeah, I think actually for now I am going to end the episode and head to bed. I think we've done quite a lot this episode and I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, so I'm going to work really hard getting the commission sorted next episode. And we're going to try and make sure that that's... Oh, I also have points to spend. Let's quickly do that before the end as well. So what I would like to do, what I said I'd like to do with my next set of points... Oh, actually, no. My next set of gathering points. We don't have gathering points. Uh, let's have a look. So uh, increase stats from furniture. 10% more EXP for making work, work table items or assembly items. I think I'm going to go with the work items. Yeah, let's go with that for now. And I've got some... I've got... No, yeah, sure. I've got some social points as well. So, chance to gain double social knowledge and EXP from interacting with town folk in day-to-day -day life increased by 10%. Um, chance to gain double social knowledge and EXP gained from completing commissions. Or when socialising with... Oh, okay, so the social knowledge experience gained when socialising. So that's the experience. So that's to get points for this. And social knowledge is to get actually better. Okay, I'm going to go with the commission one for now. Because a lot of my big bumps to knowing people comes from commissions early on, particularly. And then I'll probably start on the social butterfly stuff. And then extra workshop reputation, that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that for now. And I am going to go to bed and say goodbye to you all. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.